This video, I'm going to show you what I like to do when I install a brand new operating system. In this case, this is Linux Mint Debian Edition 6, known as Fay, F-A-Y-E. This is the Cinnamon Edition of it. So let's go and log in. When you first log in, you're going to be presented with the welcome screen. Now, this is brand new when I first log into Linux Mint, and this also is on Linux Mint Debian Edition. So what is the difference between Linux Mint and Linux Mint Debian Edition? The one that I'm using right now is Linux Mint Debian Edition, and its goal is to ensure Linux Mint can continue to deliver the same user experience if Ubuntu was ever to disappear. So it's like Linux Mint, but not relying on the Ubuntu uh, backend, I guess. So it allows them to assess how much we depend on Ubuntu and how much work would be involved in such an event. Linux Mint Debian Edition is also one of our development targets as it guarantees the software we develop is compatible outside of Ubuntu. So I like that idea and I'm going to try using this. The first thing I like to do when I log into Linux Mint for the first time is just to read the welcome screen just in case there are anything, uh, there is anything there new that's been added or anything important that I might miss. So I'm going to skip this welcome part, but I'm going to go to the welcome, you know, button, I guess. I'm going to go to first steps, desktop colors. So if you click that, it takes you to the theming and we could see what kind of options we have. We have dark and light mode. I'm going to keep it at light mode right now since this is like kind of a tutorial and um, it's got minty, mint X, or mint Y, mint X, mint L, high contrast, add Vita. Let's try that. Let's keep it at mint Y because I don't want to mess with this too much for tutorial, uh, tutorial purposes. So we got system snapshots right out of the gate. We can make system snapshots using time shift. Uh, one of my favorite tools ever. It's a great little snapshot tool. We've got multimedia codecs. Additional multimedia codecs are required to support some formats and to play popular audio, video, and web content. content. Click the button below to install them. So let's try that out. Go to install it. It asks for our password. Plug that in. That was pretty quick. It's all done. And now I have the multimedia codecs I believe I need. Update manager. I already went ahead and did all the main updates. So we don't have to wait for that for this video. System settings. Let's go down here. Now, why is that cut off? Oh, it's because I didn't use the scroll bar. That's probably why. So we'll go to system settings. And I like to go to date and time, and I like to change it to the 12 hour clock because I'm in the United States and we are not that good at reading time. So we use the 12 hour clock. Now let's see, let's close this. And yeah, good enough for now. This is a pretty simple step that I like to take though. Let's go to, we're not gonna check the firewall. Software manager, we go search for new software. Let's just toggle through these documentation help at the IRC chat room. They actually have a really cool active chat room. If I remember correctly, when I went to that, I uh, opened it up and people were in there helping. It's really nice. And contribute. You can contribute uh, some money to help with the project. So now I'm going to uncheck this box so it doesn't launch the next time I start my computer and I'm going to close this window. Now I wanted to take a moment and congratulate you on some time that you've already saved. You do not have to go and worry about removing telemetry that's going on in the background from your operating system spying on you. Like you might have to do that in other operating systems to turn it off so it's not sending your data by default and you don't have to remove uh, any extra ad games or anything like that. Uh, Candy Crush, you name it. It's not there. It's just what you need and what you want to get started with. So one of the first things I do when I am installing a new Linux distro is I go and install the browser that I'm going to use most of the time. Now, I love Firefox, but I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. Now, if you want to use a different browser, you can go search for it in the software store. So if I go here to Software Manager, I could go search for a browser such as, let's say, Chromium. And there it is. So I could go and I could click this, and I could go and install it. It's that easy. I could search for Brave browser but Brave Browser usually doesn't show up. Actually, it does. That is awesome. So instead of me having to go to their website and plug in the repository, I can install it right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's all the software I'm going to install for now, and I'm going to go ahead and close Software Manager. 
And the next thing I would do is maybe after I'm done configuring my browser and installing any kind of plugins or any kind of extensions, I mean, I would go and do a backup or a uh, time shift snapshot, if you will. So let's go to here. We're going to go to accessories. Actually, it's under system, isn't it? It's under administration. Yes, under administration. We're going to go to time shift. Going to type in our system password. And we're going to select the default that they have here by clicking next. It's going to do an estimation of the system size. I'm going to click next on the defaults here. And I'm going to choose daily backups. And you can decide how many backups you want to keep. So I'm going to, let's just put, you know, just for this demo version that I'm not using on a production system, let's just do keep one. And we're going to go next. We're going to click finish. So now the backups are scheduled. You can go ahead and create the first backup manually, though, by just clicking create. And once it's done, it will appear here as one of your snapshots. I'm going to exit out of this just so I'm not using up space and time here to create a backup of a product uh, test system. So the cool thing is, though, uh, about this snapshot is that if you maybe mess up your system or make a change that you're not really happy with, you can go back in time. It's called time shift. So you can click on the snapshot or that point in time, if you will and go back to that point in time for the configuration of your system. Very, very neat. Let's close that. If you have everything the way you like it, then you're pretty much good to go. And, you know, you can do a system cleanup by removing any apps that you don't want, such as maybe Firefox in this case is what I have on here. So I could go and open the terminal, or I could open up the uh, software center and remove it that way. But I'm going to type in sudo apt remove Firefox. Type in my system password. It's going to ask me to confirm. I'm going to click, I'm going to type Y and then enter. And it went ahead and it removed Firefox. So let's see what happens if I click on the Firefox browser. Does it launch still? It shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Let's close the terminal. Let's go ahead and remove or unpin that from the uh, menu. So you can see that Firefox is now gone from my internet right here. And I have my Brave browser that I want to use. So very, very nice, very easy. This is the way I like this um, out of the box and not really a lot of changes. So I hope this is helpful to you and maybe it'll save you some time. Thanks for watching.